Hey, welcome back, everyone. Did any of you know that last night Joe Biden had a town hall event on CNN? I actually hadn't heard anything about it before or after from the defenders of democracy. It almost seems like they're trying to keep it on the down low. Probably because of things like this. Oh, we have a shizzit many blue shoe. Now I know those in is choking that. Now I just know I'm a player to see why. He's just a little seat by my doors. What the hell? Oh, I was playing the audio backwards. Stupid me. I'm not being solicitous, but you, you're always straight up about what you're doing. <laughs> and the question is whether or not we should be in a position where you uh, um, are. Why can't the, the, the experts say we know that this virus is, in fact, uh, um, uh, it, it, it's going to be. Uh, or excuse me, we, we, we know why all the drugs approved are not temporarily approved, but permanently approved. Yeah. That's underway, too. I expect that to occur. Well, that means you mean for the FDA? For the FDA. Yeah. I get it. I don't get it. How could any lucid human being understand any of that? And yet Don Lemon sits there and acts like he understood every single word of it. And just check out his incoherent rambling response to questions about inflation. If you're pumping all of this money into the economy couldn't that add to no the, the look here's the deal will in fact reduce inflation reduce inflation reduce inflation and so it, it is I I, I I i sincerely mean this prices are up now and they're up in for example you're in a position where you're trying to build a house try to find two by fours and lumber well guess what people stop working cutting lumber they stopped doing it because they, they're, they're, the unemployment was so down. Now all of a sudden there's this need because people are coming back. And guess what? Instead of paying 10 cents, you're paying 20. I mean, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It relates to what, in fact, is now needed because we're growing. And speaking of inflation, check out this free offer for my viewers. Now, inflation isn't something that we've heard of in a while, is it? But last month, the inflation rate in the U.S. had the highest rise in the last 29 years. You heard me right, the last 29 years. You need to put up a sort of inflation dam to stop it from wiping out the value of your savings and investments. It's not too late. Noble Gold specializes in retirement planning and IRAs, so their team of experts is your first step. This month, they're offering a one ounce American Eagle solid silver proof coin with every IRA or 401k taken out. Not many people can relax with inflation this high, but like thousands of others, with Noble Gold, you'll be okay. Visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com or just click the link in the description or pinned comment. As I implied earlier, it seems like the Biden media is trying to keep this town hall under the radar, in part because he admitted that he wants to take your guns, and yet another performance where Biden proves that he's circling the drain mentally. What happened to all that concern over the mental health of the president that we saw over the last four years with nonstop calls to undo a democratic election using the 25th Amendment? Now, nothing, because they're not trustworthy defenders of democracy like they claim to be. They're left-wing Democrat Party state state information ministers. What is it that we keep hearing from the Biden regime and his state media mouthpieces on the topic of misinformation? And what's your message to platforms like Facebook? They're killing people. I mean, it really, they really, look. You shouldn't be banned from one platform and not others uh, if you are for uh, uh, providing misinformation out there. But do these manufactured misinformation crisis standards apply to the Biden regime, Democrats, or their lab dogs in the fake press? The, the various shots that people are getting now cover that. They're, they're, you're okay. You're not going to... You're not going to get COVID if you have these vaccinations. Yeah. Where in the hell are the censors and the misinformation hand ringers? We know for a fact that this is not true and that you absolutely can get the coronavirus even after you've had the vaccine. Not to mention the six Democrats who very publicly fled their Democratic duties in Texas, flaunting the fact that they had no masks because they were vaccinated, then proceeded to get infected with coronavirus. Predictably, there's no media backlash or attempt to correct the record proving that misinformation narratives are just a rationalization for silencing their political opposition. You see, if the misinformation that you're spreading is the exact same misinformation being spread by your Democrat state media propagandists, then it's not misinformation. The idea you need a weapon 
that can have the ability to fire 20, 30, 40, 50, 120 shots from that weapon, whether it's a whether it's a nine millimeter pistol or whether it's a rifle. Continuing to push to eliminate the sale of those things, but in regards to nine millimeter handguns shooting 120 rounds, that's malarkey. I'm no expert, but a simple Google search shows that they can fire four to 18 shots depending on the model. So he's dead wrong, but his misinformation is being used to ban guns, so it's okay. Folks, they're telling you who they are and what they wanna do to you. If you just sit back and say nothing or do nothing, don't be surprised when you lose all your rights to a communist tyranny. All right, folks, I'm spent. Enduring this gaslighting is a bit like absorbing radiation. You can't survive much of it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit all those buttons and leave a comment for the algorithm. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.